everybody, welcome back to another episode of One Seed, One World. Today we are going to prune back this oregano. Uh, it's way past due of when I probably should have done the pruning. I kept putting it off for, oh, probably about two or three weeks. I could have done it earlier. And so it's getting more kind of leggy. Uh, and it's even almost getting to the point where soon it will have little flowers on here um, and start going to seed. So I want to make sure that we get it trimmed off before we get to that point. Um, if you saw my video last summer on pruning your basil, uh, pru pruning oregano works pretty much the same way. When you prune it down, it will bush out more and you'll get a, a fuller, bushier plant. This was oregano that I transplanted last year uh, and pruned it back and it was little just kind of like straggly things that wasn't very full. And now this year as it's come back, it's filled out from the pruning um, and we're getting a nice bigger bunch here. Um, so I need to get this trimmed off so I can start getting it in the dehydrator and getting a new batch of dried oregano for this year. So let's take a look on how you do this. So as the oregano gets bigger, the stalks are gonna get more woody and not as tender as they would be if you trimmed it back when it was younger. Um, so if you wait this long, you're gonna want a good pair of pruning shears. Uh, these are the ones that I use, and uh, I'll post a, a link down below on uh, where you can check these out at. I like the, the wood grain handle on them, pretty cool. Um, anyway, I'm gonna cut this about halfway back, and we'll just go about halfway down and trim that off just like that. So you'll see here how there's like these different stalks that come out. And then there's two leaves right below it. As you prune these out, this will have the ability to then bush out and create new branches from there. And that's, that's kind of where, and you can cut anywhere along here where you see you know, different, there's actually a smaller one down here, so we'll go down there. So down here, you see I cut it right above where this little split on the leaves are. And now the plant will bush out from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this cut back so that the plant can continue to grow and get fuller as the season goes on and even into next season. Okay, so you see I got it all trimmed out now and I cut these down pretty far, uh, but I left plenty of these little smaller leaves that can bush out from here and grow into a new batch. Um, so pretty simple really, you just trim them back and then uh, you can take the leaves off of the stems and put them into your dehydrator or you can also put them in uh, with the stems and then remove the leaves after you've dehydrated them but they will take longer to dehydrate that way. I think I should have brought out a bigger bowl it's starting to fall off the sides <laughs> but uh, got a nice huge batch here to go into the food dehydrator uh, and have plenty of dried oregano to start off the year. Growing oregano is pretty easy um, the seeds are really tiny and they do take a while to germinate. You will probably want to start them inside uh, if you want to start from seed or an easier method is if you go to your local nursery and buy an oregano plant. And then you can also pick, you know, different, sometimes they have different varieties of oregano there that you can get. And then just plant that directly into your bed or into a pot if you want it sitting on your balcony or deck or whatever. Um, or you can put it directly into the ground like I did here with, this was originally in the ground and then I moved it into a uh, larger raised bed and it transplanted well. Uh, this is actually my fourth season with this same plant. It just gets bigger every year. So, especially if you let it go to seed out in the garden, if you let part of it go to seed, then it can reseed itself and you've got more potential for more coming up the following year. So I hope you find that helpful hope to see you again soon. Please subscribe to our channel and whatever's going on in your neck of the woods 
at your homesteads and your gardens. I hope that everything is going fantastic for you, and I hope that you're having a great day. See you again soon. Namaste.